Hi, I'm Steven with AlbertaUrbanGarden.ca. Welcome to my garden. On today's episode, we're going to do an update on the home garden field trial amongst the billion mosquitoes that we have here today. Um, lots has happened in the trial since we last updated you, and so I figured I'd give you an update on the, the progress. Do you know? If you would like to catch up with the trial, click here to go to the trial playlist. In the last six weeks, we've seen some changes to the trial beds. The kale suffered some severe damage shortly after the last update, being almost completely eaten by some sort of rodent. The final numbers are as follows. For rock dust, we were able to harvest 225 grams. The control, 277.5 grams. And biochar, 222.5 grams. The tomatoes really took off, taking over much of the bed and spilling over into other areas of the garden. Once again, disaster struck when a severe storm came through and damaged all of the plants. The final harvest tallies ended up being, for rock dust, 4,136.0 grams, control, 5,548.5 grams, and biochar, 5,125.5 grams. We've completed a taste test, finding the results to be consistent both times. I found the control the best, biochar second, and rock dust third. I do have to admit the variety of tomato chosen this year was not one I particularly enjoyed, as it was quite tangy and not sweet as I enjoy. This means the control for both the kale and tomatoes has produced more by weight. The rock dust slightly edges the biochar in the kale, however, prior to the damage, the kale plants in the biochar bed had more remaining leaves. To date, my combined trial results are very similar to One Yard Revolutions. Patrick's total trial harvest for rock dust is 8,937 grams. The control is 11,791 grams and the biochar is 9,798 grams. Combined with my results, you end up with rock dust having 13,298 grams, control having 17,816 grams, and biochar having 15,154 grams. By following the same trial methods, we are able to combine the results to further demonstrate any trends. The more points of data we collect allow us to reduce any conditions in individual gardens that may favor one group over another, and one species over another. Once we have all of the data from 2014, we will be combining it to see where we stand. The peppers are doing well. The largest plants are in the biochar and control beds, which are also showing ripening of their fruit. The rock dust has the smallest plants and no ripening of any fruit yet. The mangle beets have roughly equivalent leaf damage and are growing quickly. These will be one of the last things to be harvested to see how large we can get the root. The carrots are hard to tell as their leaves intermingle and there's no evidence of the size of the root as they're below the soil. Closer to the end of the season, we will harvest all of them from each bed. Because it's unlikely that we have even numbers in each bed, the total number of carrots harvested will be counted and either the average taken or the outliers removed from each bed to standardize the number of carrots used. The more sets of numbers we have, the better the analysis. If you have any data at all or are still collecting the data, we would love to have it submitted to us so that we can include it in the final numbers. Thank you for spending time with me today. I really appreciate it. And I hope you have a fantastic day.